Hi, my name is Ryan Cotter and I'm the Head Strength and Conditioning Coach at Real Salt Lake. In this installment of the 10 minute warm up series, we're going to go over some sprinting and acceleration drills that you can do in a confined space. Sprinting and acceleration are two very important parts of the game and two things that should ideally be trained on a regular basis. However, currently most people's training is being confined to their basement or their backyard, so you only have very limited space. Therefore, we're going to go over a few drills today that can help you continue to train these qualities in just five yards of space. After you finish this 10 minute warm up series, make sure you check out the links below to other at home ball drills that you can do on your own. The first drill we're going to go over is called the aim march. So the purpose of this drill is to get your arms and legs in sprinted positions, but in a slow and controlled manner so you can focus on your position and your technique. So each one of the next three drills, there's going to be three levels within each drill. So level one is your foot is going to get to the opposite ankle. Level two, your foot is going to get to the opposite mid calf. And level three, your foot is going to get to the opposite knee height. And that'll make more sense in a second. So first drill, A march, level one. So my foot is just getting to the height of the opposite ankle. Still putting a little bit of force into the ground, you can probably hear my feet. And I still have big, aggressive arm action just like I would if I was sprinting. Now we'll do level two, slightly more intense. It doesn't have to be a super fast pace, we're still taking nice small steps, but now we're bringing our foot to our opposite calf height, so that extra space allows us to put a little more force in the ground. So A march level two. Chest up, nice small steps, big arm action, putting some force into the ground. Now the third and final level is level three, where my foot is getting to my opposite knee. So this is this position that your limbs actually get in with your when you are sprinting. We're just going at a slower velocity. So A march level three. My knee is getting parallel to the floor, chest up, big arms. So I would perform each one of those levels twice with just a walk back in between as you rest. So the next drill that we're going to go over building off the A march is called the A skip. So it's a very similar drill, same arm action, same knee action. We're now just skipping and popping off the ground. So level one, a skip. So again, my foot is just getting to my opposite ankle height. Should be able to hear the feet pushing into the ground. Nice small skips. And just walk back as you rest. Level two, a little bit more intense. punching the ground and finally level three really making an effort to drive that knee up the third and final of these technique drills is called the a run So the A run is very similar to the A march, where it's moving our arms and legs at a higher velocity, which makes it more intense. So the whole purpose of the A run, again, is to mimic the velocities that your arms and legs would be moving when you're actually sprinting. But again, just in our situation, combined to a five yard space. So level one, A run, nice and fast, quick arm, quick legs, chest up, and take your time walking back. Once you feel like you've caught your breath, level two, a little bit more intense. Knees coming up a little higher. And walking back. Now, level three, the most intense. So this really should feel like you're sprinting. Should get your heart rate up, should get your breath up.
Now that we've gone over three different sprinting technique drills, we're going to go over some lower body plyometric drills that are going to help with lower leg and ankle stiffness. The first one we're going to go over is called a double leg pogo hop. So you're going to have your hands on your hips and you're just going to punch the ground with your ankles. Very little bend in the knee. So each jump, you want to focus on getting as high as possible, and you'll naturally drift forward. You don't need to focus on going forward. So to see it again, each jump as high as you can. You can also do these single leg to make them a little more difficult. Make sure you do the opposite leg as well. Again, very little bend in the knee, just pushing the ground away with the ankle. So if you're following along at home, I'm sure you can tell those drills are a little bit more intense than they appear. So one or two reps of each one is probably going to be enough before you get into the rest of the ball work drills. In this final part of the warm-up series, we're actually going to do some full speed acceleration. So again, we only have five yards, so that's still enough space to get three or four really hard, good acceleration steps. So you're going to start in a slight split stance with your left foot slightly in front of your right. You have a good forward lean and nice loose arms, and really your left arm is going to initiate the action here. So when you're ready to go, left arm forward, right arm back, and right knee is going to drive forward. So slight split stance, nice and relaxed, boom, three hard steps. We'll do that one more time, slight split stance, forward lean, left arm initiates the action, right knee follows, three hard steps. And we can do the same thing on the other side. Now if my right foot is the foot that's slightly forward in the split stance, my right arm is going to initiate the action and my left knee is the one that follows. So nice and relaxed. And three hard steps. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this installment of the 10 minute warm up series as much as I did. Remember, sprinting and acceleration are two very important parts of the game and hopefully the drills that we showed you today gave you some insights in how you can continue to train these abilities even given limited training space. For even more ideas on how to improve your sprinting and acceleration skills, make sure you check out my friend Derek Hansen at runningmechanics.com. Also, don't forget to click on the links below for more videos on at-home ball work drills.